We're going live now. We're going live. Hello, everybody. Uh, Kirsty, you can be heard, by the way, because you are on loudspeaker. Hello, everybody. My name is Vassos. This is a great big park run quiz number 26. So good morning. Uh, good morning, Team Coffee. Good morning from Basingstoke. Um, a border, the, whatever that says. Hello. So, um, has anyone seen Vassos? Is a very good question. Who's doing the um, Who's doing the thing down there, Kirsty? Is that you as well? It's Tom. Oh, it's Tom. Oh, it's Tom. Of course, it's Tom. Is it Tom's last week? Penultimate. Tom's penultimate week. Next week has to be a big celebration of Tom. I think, like the quiz and everything, the whole week anyway. But the quiz. So it's a bit weird. I can just see that the sun's come out. And so this, um, this new location in our house that I've decided on, I'm a bit fragile again, I'll be honest. Um, this morning might not be perfect, but I don't think I should move. Um, parkrun.me slash quiz 26. Um, I haven't got the questions, Kirsty. <laughs> this is going to be fun. This is going to be fine. Um, <laughs> would you mind emailing me the questions, please? Awesome. Um, so um, for the first time ever, for the first time ever, um, Russ is not on the end of a phone. It's Kirsty instead. And good morning um, also to Tom, who's answering all your questions and complaints. Are there going to be complaints? Is there going to be a question 12? What's the question 12 going to be? As you, um, as you may have gathered, I haven't seen any questions. I'm going to play along with everybody. I don't know whether any members of my family are... Um, are going to join us. They might, they might not. Um, I think I heard a shower going upstairs, which is likely to be Matthew, because he's the source of, he's the early morning or mid morning now, showerer. But I've only just walked through the front door because I didn't stay here last night. Um, I was out with some pals. There is a question 12. And not only is there a question 12, there is a question 12 in capital letters, which means Tom is shouting, there is a question 12. Here we go. Kirsty has emailed me the questions. The other thing, Kirsty, that we normally do at the start of the quiz is go through last week's country by country leaderboard. Would you have that information to hand? Let me just find out. And if you WhatsApp it to me, maybe Ross has. Um, there was some discussion on um, what is actually a free weekly time, the Parkrun podcast WhatsApp group, as to who was in. Um, who was in a worse state um, about 12 hours ago, me or Russ? I suspect me, um, but everything's fine. Oh, here's, here, um, here is Helen on the WhatsApp group. Hello, Helen, good morning. Um, not, with, not with any sort of leaderboard. Parkrun.me slash quiz 26. Um, is anyone else being put off by the sun being out? I really am, but never mind. I've got the questions, I've got a computer, I'm online, I've got 10% of my brain capacity, and we have a shout out. That's the first thing to do. Let's do that first. It's from... We'll come back to the leaderboard. We'll come back to the leaderboard. Thank you. Um, Helen Segerbath says, hello, Parkrun. Hello, Helen. I was hoping I might get a shout out on this week's great big Parkrun quiz. I think six months in, um, we still haven't failed to give a shout out if you've asked for one. Um, today, September the 12th, is a double celebration for me, my actual birthday, and also my park run fifth birthday. Helen, you, this is like a double, I mean, I'm going to finish it anyway, but you also got a, a shout out on Free Weekly Times. Is there any, anywhere else? Um, I can also broadcast on Virgin Radio. Would you like one there? Um, anyway, this Saturday, my husband John and I will be up and early to do a Lincoln Park run where my park run journey started. This, if you've listened to Free Weekly Times, you know all of this. Um, and our first ever Saturday Freedom Run, and then be back in time to do the great big pun quiz. I hope you're feeling better than um, I am this morning. Um, we've not missed a week, well, nor have I, although last week. Mm. Um, please thank all the quiz team for keeping us going during the park run pause. We can't wait for park run to return. And so say all of us, happy birthday, Helen. Happy park run anniversary, Helen. Now, I think Ian has sent me. Yes, he has. Thank you, Ian. Good morning, Ian. Everything's going very well as usual. Um, last week's leaderboard, Germany, um, six out of 15 um, in last place. 
Then Esbertini, then Ireland, then UK, with an average of 8 out of 15. Um, Namibia, Canada, New Zealand. Welcome back, Namibia. We haven't heard from you for ages. Welcome back to the quiz. What did you get? 8.5. Two people in Namibia did the quiz yesterday. Then Canada, 9.4. And then everyone did really well. New Zealand, 9.5. Australia, 9.6. Norway, 9.7. And Russia and Poland and France, 10 out of 15. South Africa, 11. Singapore, 11. Sweden, 12. And Italy, 14 out of 15, which is the highest average country thing we've ever had. So I can't remember what well done is. Let's go with Bravo Italia. Um, thank you very much for that, Ian. That's our first ever WhatsApp message. I noticed I'm going to just let's say thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. Ready to go. Parkrun.me slash quiz 26. Okay. I haven't looked at any of the questions, um, but I do know the answers, so I can't, I can't give you um, the benefit of my wisdom. <laughs> How many 5K park runs? This question from Ben Burrell in Endcliff Park Run. How many 5K park runs would you have to run to cover the same distance as this year's Tour de France, which is quite exciting. Um, I don't know what happened yesterday, don't tell me. Uh, 297, 497, 697, or 897. How many 5K park runs to cover the same distance as this year's Tour de France? That's question one. I don't, I mean, I can work it out because I know the answer and I can times it by five. Um, but I don't know how many kilometers a Tour de France is. We'll come back to that. Which of these surnames? Thank you. Um, Marin Shine from Cabin Teeley Park Run. Moraine. Which of these surnames is the most common amongst park runners? Flood, frost, snow, wind. Flood, frost, snow, wind. Most common surname amongst park runners. I'm not quite so jolly without the quick kids, David. You're right. A, generally in life, I'm not quite so jolly without the kids. I'm also not quite so jolly after um, a bit of an afternoon with my friends and colleagues at Virgin Radio yesterday. Bit of an afternoon slash evening slash, if I'm honest, early hours of this morning. But it was loads of fun. I was quite jolly yesterday. You just see me yesterday. I was life and soul in the hotel bar at 1 a.m. Um, right. <laughs> How many? This is question three. Where are my children? Here's one of them. Not looking very jolly. There's two of them. Here, come, here comes the jolly. Here comes Mary. Okay, Mary has been up. She would like everyone to know, but went down to see her hamster called Freddy. Or, full name? Full name? Lord Freddy Farquhar. And where do we get to? Question three. Matthew, good morning. How are you? Recently up, or was it you in the shower? Emily in the shower. Emily could join us one day. That would be nice, wouldn't it? How many London double-decker buses would fit end-to-end -end around a 5K park run? For clarity, for clarity, says the Jolly family in Gainsborough Park Run. Thank you for the question, the Jolly family, and thank you for this clarification. For clarity, the new Route Masters bumper to bumper. Um, How many London double-decker buses would fit end-to-end -end around a 5K park run. That's question three. I'll do one and two for you. Do you want to come and sit down? Do you want to come? Um, what do you think about the new location? What's the... Parkrun.me slash quiz 26. Do you come and sit next to me? Although that side, because... Um, the, oh, no, I'll just move the questions to here, and then you can't see them. I haven't given the options, have I? 335, 445, 555, or 655. How many London double decker buses end to end around a 5K park run? I'd have said thousands, but obviously that's not right. Question four. Hey, Mary. Let's say hello to everyone. Um, since it launched, am I jollier now? Daddy. Am I jollier? Daddy. Yes, darling. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Um, uh, sorry, I'm just gonna make sort of things. Okay. 
Did you hear that, everyone? She's not going to write a story. She's just going to make something. Oh, and you've got some paintings over there that I can see. Yeah. Show, show those, like a little, little exhibition. Um, put a little sticker on the bottom right if it's, if it's already sold. Um, question four, since it launched, what's the maximum number of not park runs that could have been completed by today? From Martin Banfield at Withamshaw Park Run. It's the first question that I don't understand. Are you only allowed to do one not park run a week? Or one not park run a day? Well, because it haven't been 90 weeks or 100 weeks or 110 weeks or 120 weeks. So that's definitely not it. Maybe one it's a, day, Is it one a day? Yeah. Okay. So what's the maximum number of not park runs that could have been completed since it launched by today? 90, 100, 110 or 120? Um, question five. Question five, question five. Which park run event is located nearest to the North Pole? And then it says geographic North Pole for pedants. And then there's an emoji that I can't see. It might be, um, what is that emoji, Kirsty? It's a winking face. It's a winking face. Do you want to do a wink? Anyone want to wink? I can't really wink. Yeah, I can. Can you go and do a wink? Give, us, give everyone a wink. Come on, come on, give everyone a wink. So hang on, I'll ask the question, right, and then you do the wink. Okay, ready? Which park run event is located nearest to the North Pole, brackets, geographic North Pole for pedants? Nice. <laughs> nice. Good wink. Um, Bad House Park Run in Sweden. Sun, could you go behind a cloud, please? Not only is it bright, but also I'm a little shabby. Um, Festningen Park Run, Norway. Park Run Yakutsk in Russia or Tempere Park Run in Finland. Okay, quick recap of the first five questions, basically, especially for my to get in the shot. Come here, come on, come on. Morning, 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 morning. Um, how many 5K park runs? How did you get on at Friday Night Fives? Um, good. We lost five to three. That's quite good. <laughs> we take. Would you have taken a five three loss at the start? No. That's no, sorry. Now you're very, they're very good. They're very good. How many <laughs> how many five k park runs would you have to run to cover the same distance as this year's Tour de France? What do you reckon? Four hundred and ninety-seven. That's not right. But I mean, <laughs> um, which of these surnames are the most common amongst park runners? Most common surnames. Question two: Flood, frost, snow, wind. Frost. The reason that they're great, though, at the Friday Night Five-a-side football tournament, um, is that they don't they don't get at each other. They don't go, oh, goalkeeper, you should have saved that. All of that. They're just they're just pals that enjoy playing football, which I've always loved about you all, from when you were seven, eight to now. They're great. Um, how many London double-decker buses would fit around end-to-end -end around five k park run? Brackets for clarity. New route master bumper to bumper. 335, 445, 555, uh, Question four, since it launched, what's the maximum number of not park runs that could have been completed by today? It's one a day. And question five, which park run event is located nearest to the North Pole? Brackets, geographic North Pole for pedants. A bit of my brain, so we have most of my brain that's not working this morning. A bit of the bit that is working wants to know the difference between the geographic North Pole and the magnetic. Is it magnetic, the other North Pole? But a bit sort of sort of can't be bothered to ask. If anyone knows, could you? That's that side, isn't it? Right. Round two. Park run names. Yes, Tom. Big day for Fulham. Yes? Yeah. Yep. Easy win. Easy win. Don't say that. <laughs> no. Manif let's manifest the Fulham win. Ready? We believe it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We put it out to the universe so the full and win can happen. We'll, we'll, we'll ask Emily to. Yeah, uh, Emily, uh, 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 Emily's best at this. Right. Question six. Which of these is not a real park run event name? Thank you, Matt Miller from Lloyd Park Run. Thank you, everybody who's uh, given questions this week. Loads of you. Thank you. St. Andrews, St. George's, St. Mary's, St. Matthew's. Which of those is not real? You get a mention, sort of, and you get a mention, sort of. I don't know. Which of those is not real? 
Andrew, St. Andrews, St. George, St. Mary's, St. Matthews. Mary's going to guess. Mary, Mary, I'll give you a clue. I'll give you a clue. It's the member of our family. It's a member of our family that's not you. Yeah, yeah. OK. See if you get that right. Um, which of these? Thank you, Rose Davis from Gloucester City Park Run for this question. Thank you. Which of these is a real is a, is a real junior park run event name? Dash, run, rush, or sprint? Good question. Dash, run, rush, or sprint? Which is what everyone always does at the start of a junior park run. It's like, and then first corner, they're all walking. It's great. I, I miss that. I miss that almost more than actual park run. Um, question eight, Nancy Moore from Gels Park Run. Son, could you please go behind a cloud? Oh no, there's no clouds now. I'm facing Never mind, never mind. Which of these is a real park run event name from Nancy Moore, Gels Park Run? Castle Black, Castle Caladan, Castle Howard, Castle Wyburn. One of them sounds right, isn't it? Which one have you gone for? Castle Wyburn. Oh, okay. Two of them apparently sound right. Which of those is a real park run event name? Question nine, which of these is a real park run event name? Atlas, Earth, Globe, Map. Atlas, Earth, Globe, Map. Yeah. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Cool cap. Where did you get a San Fran cap from? Is this drip? Am I dripping? No. No. <laughs> It's a bit small. It's a, I think it might this be a kid's cap. You can have the San Fran one if you want. Here you go. Uh -huh. um, where do we get to? Question 10. Yeah. Which of these is a real park run event name? Question 10. Marriott Hilton Premier, <laughs> Premier Inn Travelodge. I, I, I sense Tom's hand there. Marriott Hilton Premier Inn Travelodge. Which of those is a real park run event name? The clouds go by. The sun's going behind a cloud. Hooray. <laughs> Travelodge Park Run. You never know. Which of these is not? So a quick quick recap on round two. Which of the... No, well, I, I, we do have curtains, generally. Thank you, Moray, and thank you, Colin. But not there. Because, I'll show you. I'll show you. This is, um, it's, a, it's like the big things on our card. So there's no, there's no curtain situation going on there. Um, question six. Which of these is not a real park run event name? Um, Andrews, George, Mary's, Matthew, not a real name. Question seven, which of these is a real junior? Dash, run, rush, sprint, which just that, that question really feels right, doesn't it, for a junior park run? They should all be real. Um, in fact, all of those should be incorporated in all names of junior park run. Which of these is a real park run event name? Nancy, Castle Black, Castle Caladan, Castle Howard, Castle Wyvern. We got that wrong. Which of these is a real park run name? Atlas Earth Globe Map. And my favourite question so far this morning, but we are coming up to question 12, is Marriott Hilton Premier in Travelodge. Okay. Is it actually question 12 as well? No, it's question 13 this week, but yes, here we go, Tom. Okay, pun question is question 13. Park runners, so true or false round, true or false round, we're coming to 13, and I don't know what it is, I'm not even reading, in fact, I'm going to hide it. Um, question 11, though, first, true or false, park runners with the surname best have a slower average 5K finish time than those with the surname last. Is that true or false? Bests are slower on average than lasts. True or false? Do we know how many bests and how many lasts there are, Kirsty? Not right now. No, we don't. <laughs> we, we've stopped caring. <laughs> uh, question twelve. If, if you want to know, if, if everyone, if, if you'd like to know, if everyone would like to know, maybe otherwise, never mind. Question twelve. There are more park runs and junior park runs in England than there are in Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Wales combined. Is that true or false? Okay, we need to know, says Colin, how many bests and how many lasts. We don't need to know. It would be nice to know. It would be mildly, mildly engaging to know. 
leave it with us. Thank you. We're leaving it with you. Is Ian on the case? Okay, that's question 12. I'll do that one more time. There are more park runs in, and junior park runs in England than there are in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland combined. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Question 13 coming up. Is it called pathetic fallacy when the weather um, reflects the mood of the piece? I think it is. Oh, I think it is. Um, remember that, by the way, for like an English essay, if it's like raining... To say, and it's, and it's a sombre mood, that's called pathetic fallacy. Or it's called something else, but pathetic fallacy is... Anyway, that, if, if the weather was going to reflect my mood now, it would start raining. A thunderstorm. Are you ready for best and lasts? Yeah, okay, let's do bests and lasts. Let's put this off for as long as possible, okay? Bests? 1,295. 1,295 bests. I'm going to guess how many lasts there are. If there are one, two, nine, five bests out of seven million park runners, there are ninety lasts. Higher. One hundred and ninety lasts. Higher. Five hundred lasts. <laughs> three hundred and forty-eight. There are three hundred and forty-eight lasts. Any of you watching the quiz this morning? Good morning, if you are, and all obviously to the bests. But the question was, who's quicker? Here we go. With a due sense of doom. There is a series of free weekly 5K park run events. I haven't got further than that yet. Exclusively for the jealous. <laughs> no, it's actually quite good. <laughs> He's put some work in this week. <laughs> Exclusively for the jealous younger brother of the, la <laughs> of the late Lion King Mufasa. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Known as Skark Run. So even though the pun is no better than last week's, the, the setup is superb. I, I watched something yesterday before I went to. Come and tell everyone. Come and tell everyone. Come and tell everyone. On that score, Mary has a story. Come and tell everyone the story with you. It's, it's, it's not. It's, that's my. Right. Sing story, but um, I yesterday I wrote something um before mummy's party. Um, Mummy had a party. No, she, she went, went to. to oh, she went to Irina's. That might be even. That is even more dangerous than um me going out with a virgin lot. Looking forward to seeing mummy this morning. Uh, um, and and her. Uh, I watched on TV something called The Lion God, but the lion looks really like um, the Lion King. That's a good story. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back to your making. It's really good, by the way. It's really good. Actually, I don't know if he went to go and collect Emily. Um, that's right. You have, have, have to protect her. It's all right. <laughs> Um, well done, Tom. Round of applause for Tom. Like clappy emoji for Tom. That's very. That setup is excellent. I mean, the pun's terrible, but we've run out of puns, so it's all about the setup, and that's hilarious. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you going to better that for your last week? Week twenty-seven is the like Tom Fairbrother celebration quiz. The great big Tom Fairbrother celebration quiz. Yes, it is the best. Well, it's not the best pun ever. It's a, the worst pun ever, but it's the best setup ever. Certainly, Bruce. Thank you. Good morning, Bruce. Um, right. Question 14. Park run is older than the iPhone. True or false? Have we had that question before? I think we might have done. I can't remember the answer. Park run is older than the iPhone. True or false? And question 15. Russ. Morning, Russ. He's definitely not watching. Say what you like about Russ this morning. He's definitely not watching. Um, Russ has a park run PB of 17.36. True or false? That's Russ Jeffries, global communications um, czar of park run, um, head honcho, chief, currently in Portugal. Does that mean they're all going to have to... Um, Quarantine, of course it does. They're going to have to quarantine. Are they still in Portugal, Kirsty? Not sure. We're not sure. They might. Recently in Portugal, may made it back by 4 a.m. this morning. Okay. 
A quick quick recap of round three, and then we'll go through some scores. Let's have a look at some scores. 13. Yes, I would be okay with that too. Mary's already done. So let's quickly go through. Park runners with the surname Best have a slower average time than those last. That's 11. There are more park runners than juniors in England than there are in Wales, Northern Ireland, Scotland combined. Then the, the hilarious... I'm going to read the setup again. There is a series of three weekly 5K park runs exclusively for the jealous younger brother of the late Lion King Mufasa, known as Scar Run. Um, park run is older than the iPhone, and Russ has a park run PB of 1736, which, by the way, Russ, it's a fantastic time, it, even if it's false, which it's not. Right, we got our best ever. Oh, no, I thought we got 12. Nine. We got nine. We're going to take nine. Like, we beat Carol. We beat Carol, look. Um, we beat Roz. Um, we didn't beat, we didn't beat, no, we didn't beat any of these people, but they're like show-offs. I know we've been doing this for six months now, and we beat Anthony. Thank you for sharing, Anthony. Um, Colin, Colin representing Finland. I don't approve of that, Colin. I've got to tell you, you don't sound Finnish, Colin Smith. That's not a Finnish name. He might be in Finland. I suspect he's not. I suspect he's just decided to represent Finland. And I suspect the Eswatinis aren't in Eswatini as well. I disapprove. Right, let's go through the answers. Um, how many 5K park runs are the same distance as the Tour de France? The answer is 697. So can you just do 697 times 5? No, we can do that. Um, it would be 1,400, 2,800, 3,500, minus 15, 3,485 kilometers is the um, Tour de France. It's a long way, isn't it, in three weeks, especially with all that climbing. Um, the most common surnames amongst all of those in question two was Frost. Question three, 445 route masters in a 5K park run. Question four, 90 days since not park run launched. No. No, oh, now the sun has gone. Now the sun's gone. And we're nearly done. Um, question five. Uh, Festningen Park one in Norway is the closest to the geographic North Pole. Do you care at all whether what's the difference between the geographic North Pole and the magnetic North Pole? Not really. One of them's... Well, surely they're both just the top of the... Actually, no, I don't care either. Um, I do a bit. I do a bit. I care more and more about that. Um... Which of these is not a real park run name, St. Matthews? Um, which of these is a real junior name, Rush? Not Dash, Run or Sprint. Uh, which of these is real, Castle Howard? Here comes the sun again. Which of these is real, Globe is real? Where's Globe, Kirsty? Uh, north of Stuttgart in Germany. North of Stuttgart in Germany. Um, and Hilton is the real park run event name. Where's that? Is that in... Now. It's in South Africa. It's in Kwazulu South Africa. KwaZulu-Natal. Yeah. There. Um, it's false. Um, bests are not slower on average than lasts. Bests are quicker than lasts. Um, question 12. Um, there are more park runs in England. How many park runs and juniors in England? And how many in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland combined? That's, that's mildly interesting. No, it's very interesting. In between, mildly and very interesting. It's mediumly interesting. Do we know the numbers? 1,068 in the UK, of which a total 193 in total on Scotland, Northern Ireland and Wales. Oh, my goodness. That's not even vaguely close. That's, that's amazing. So 1,000 in the UK about, uh, of which about 200 aren't in England. Um, gosh. That's interesting. That is interesting. It's, it's been elevated to very interesting. Obviously, question 13 is false, but we loved it. Thank you, Tom. Um, actually, we loved it every week. We loved it because we love taking the mickey, and now we love the funny question. Question 14, the park run is older than the iPhone. Park run 2004, iPhone 2007. 2007. And uh, Russ has a very impressive park run PB of 1736, which is amazing. more than a minute quicker than mine. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Mary, you're up. Mary, you are up. I'm going to have a coffee. What should we do today? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. I might be meeting with people. Can I be on the floor? No, oh, go on then. Peel it off. Peel it off. 
I'll put another computer ready for. That's so nice. I bet that's quite. Is that nice? Our computer went in for repairs and it had this on the screen. Matthew got to tear it all off. Right, you're done. Thank you. Morning. Hey. Look, I didn't see Matthew all of yesterday. It's actually racing. Okay. Ooh. No, no, no. Put it back on. Um, do you want to do your thing? All yours? Or do you want to come and sit next to me? What do you want to do? Yeah. This is Mary. It's not going to be, we're not, you know, let's make the most of Mary because in a few weeks' time, we're going to be back at Fulham Palace. Well, not you and me. Me and Matthew will be back at Fulham Palace. Do you want to talk us through it? Uh, I just, I just got some pieces off and sticks them on. Yeah, you did rip some pieces off. I don't know if everyone got it. Shall I do it? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Everyone got the full. I mean, I don't know. No, I'm not. I shouldn't hide you. I should hide me. There you go. <laughs> there you go, everyone. Okay. Anything else you'd like to say? Anything, Kirsty? Anything else you'd like to say? Can I just say, much better than Russ on the end of much, much better. Russ has a lot to learn. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to say anything, but I agree. Yeah, no, a lot, a lot better. Um, uh, anything else you'd like to say, Kirsty? Thank you, Kirsty. Thank you, Kirsty, from everybody. Mary, have you got any more any more pearls of wisdom for anyone? No. No? Do you want to say goodbye at least and do the do the, do the end stream button? Thank you, Mary. Bye bye. Just say bye bye, Kirsty. Bye bye, Kirsty. There you go, and then just press end. Bye bye, everyone. Thanks. I think we're done now.